in September 2020, we sold our house in the UK, then moved to Normandy in France, where we bought an ancient French farmhouse with various outbuildings, including an old barn, a small cottage with two woodlands, and three and a half acres of pastured land in a beautiful national park area. Follow us on our journey as Budo and I renovate the farmhouse, manage our land and take on many projects for you to enjoy. Let the fun begin. Okay folks, uh, pushing on with this door now. So I just want to show you these intricate um, angles that you have to work out to get this uh, spade drawer in. So this one slots in there obviously. Uh, this one into there and these are all called uh, half lap tenons so got the same again here so you've got this angle here and then another angle there they're two different angles these are as well as with those two there um, so I'll bring you back in a second I'll push it all together and uh, show you what it looks like okay then that's the uh, door pushed together it's all dry at the moment there's no glue in it on I think and the joints ain't pulled up tight here like yeah they will be when I clamp them but uh, I just wanted to show you if, what you have to work out obviously you got that angle then you've got another angle coming away from there plus you've got a tenon and them slot mortars uh, same with this end here so you've got a tenon in here tenon in here you've got these cuts and then your shoulder cuts as well so when I clamp it all up and glue it that will be the finished door. So we've got this nice little uh, moulding on here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, so we've got this little pretty moulding here. And then slots in here is the uh, panel. That I'm going to be putting in here. Just a flat panel. Uh, there'll be two hinges on this side. Going through here. And a little handle down this end. Next time you see it, it'll be up. Another joinery job done. But believe it or not it's only a little uh, door that but there's quite a lot of working out to be done on the angles uh, before you can go forwards because you have to get all them angles right before you go forwards and I showed you in the other video which was over here where I find all these angles from this line here the baseline or the spring in line and find all my angles in there sorry if that's a bit technical but just wanted to show you how it all goes together So as I said earlier, um, I'll be gluing and pegging this together and uh, put it up this evening. It is this evening now, I've done it. There you go. That's the uh, spandrel on the staircase. And I'll just show you, I've got a little handle here, as you can see. And then you can see the little square pegs to pull all the tenons in, in all the corners. Yeah, there, that one. And at the top. And it just functions on a little magnet that catches it here. I don't know if I showed you that there. Don't worry about that. We're gonna I'm gonna deck this out tomorrow and we're gonna clear all this up and paint that all white inside. And uh that's it. One spandrel done. So I'm having a good week this week, plenty of joinery. On to the next joinery job. And each one is nearer to the end. <laughs> Uh, hope you like that anyway we're going to paint that by the way we're going to put uh, the same colour as all the woodwork and on the staircase we're now going to keep all the handrails sanded down and wood Tracy's going to paint all the spindles um, the risers on the steps and then we're going to sand the tops and oil because they're all oak the tops so oil all them and just smarten her up like you know and then I've got another job here I'll be putting this window in um, in the next few days hopefully but uh, anyway give you one more glance of that tell us what you think <laughs> <laughs>